Okay, my first attempt at an Italian puccia. I think it's how you pronounce it. From my understanding, it's basically like a bread roll, but using Neapolitan pizza dough. So flatten it differently to have a pizza, it would be stretched. I'm just gonna flatten the whole thing, not leave any crust, and cook it. And then I'll cut it and uh, put the filling in. With regards to filling, I guess there might be specifics as to what makes it a real Italian puccia. However, I'm just going to use uh, rocket, mozzarella, probably a bit of uh, Grana Padano as usual, like the pizza, and I'll see what else is in my fridge really. Differences in dough ball. My normal pizza dough ball is about 250 grams. This one is only 200. And I'll cover the rest of the dough. Put some flour on the top of this. And I'm just going to flatten the whole thing. This feels really strange because I'm so used to leaving a crust. I think I'd rather have it sort of oblong rather than a circle because that'll make it more like a sort of sandwich-ish baguette type shape. Get rid of some of this excess flour. Don't want too much flour. If you have too much flour on the base of your dough, as soon as it goes in the oven, it'll just burn. So, right. I think <laughs> I think that's how it should be. I don't know. Um, and you do put some extra virgin olive oil. Get that rubbed in. And last but not least, I'm going to add some oregano, just some dried. So I've got some oregano, and I'll even put some salt and pepper on it. A touch of pepper, a touch of sea salt, and we're ready to cook. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I think this needs a slower cook. This is going to be complete trial and error. I've never done it before, and I'll also launch it just to the front of the coda. So there is the Puccia, I think that's what it's pronounced. I'll just right at the front of the oven, I'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna use my little turning peel this time, I'll just use the big one and rotate it with my hands and see how that goes. I can see the back of it rising already, hopefully you can on the camera, the back of it's starting to puff up. And when I turn it, I'll probably just turn it a whole 180 degrees. So. Good. I think this is going to be awesome. I really want the whole thing to puff up. I can see the first outer edge starting to puff. That was at the back of the oven. I want the whole thing to puff up so that when I slice it in half, it's like a a nice roll. It's starting to get there. Right, I've done the uh, the 180 degrees rotation right at the start, so. I'll cook both outer ends, but for how long, I really don't know, to be honest. I stay right beside an airport, I'm sure you can hear the aircraft noise. Maybe I say this in every video, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm in my greenhouse, because I'm in Scotland, I don't want it to rain on me. Getting there. I don't think I'll want to turn the flame up much, to be honest. I'm not sure. How's the base? Yeah, the base is cooking fine. It's not burnt at all. So. How are we doing? 
until fire. That's not too bad actually. That's starting to look quite nice. Probably puff up a little bit more of that. Thing. Right, I think that's as good as we're going to get with this one. So there is the Puchia, or my version of a Puchia. Maybe some of you guys might be able to give me some tips on how to make it a bit more puffy. What does it look like? I've cut this edge, this edge, and this side. I've left that one so it acts as a flap. And, oh man, <laughs> I'm really happy with that actually. For my first ever go, I wanted a bit more puff in the oven, but I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm going to use it for my lunch tomorrow, so I'm going to put some mozzarella in it. Cover it with mozzarella. There we go. Mozzarella, some basil. Yeah, that looks good. Put some grana padano. Give that a good sprinkle. And what else would I put? Probably some rocket actually. I love rocket. I love rocket, I love basil, I love mozzarella, parmesan. <laughs> I just love pizza. So how about that? There we go. My first puccia.